Hi students up till now we had learnt about different kinds of magnets you know we had learnt about what the magnetic field due to a barb magnet is how the magnetic field from a barb magnet is similar to the magnetic field because of a current carrying wire but did you know that our earth itself is a huge magnet the entire earth can actually be replaced by a giant barb magnet with its north pole very near the actual geographic north pole and the south pole very near the actual geographic south pole did you know that also you know when electrons revolve inside an atom did you know that they actually have a magnetic moment associated with them so magnetism actually you know influences something as small as the inside portion of an atom to something as big as the entire earth which has a magnetic field so we will learn about the magnetic field of the earth and various substances and their magnetic properties in this chapter so there we go this is the chapter related to the earth's magnetic field and the magnetic properties of materials the first thing we're going to see is how the earth is actually a magnet the geographic north and geographic south of the earth are like this along this white line so as you can see this is the north pole of the earth and as you can again see this is the south pole of the earth the magnetic north and magnetic south of the earth however are at an angle 11.5 degrees with geographic north and the geographic south so you know if you passed a line through the center of the earth and you know passed it through the north pole and the south pole in that case the line joining the magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole in a similar fashion would make an angle 11.5 degrees with the geographic north pole as you can see the line joining the north pole and the south pole is the geographic meridian and the line joining the magnetic north pole and the magnetic south pole is the magnetic meridian so basically as you can see here the earth can actually be replaced by a bar magnet such that its north pole is at an angle 11.5 degrees with the geographic north pole where does this magnet come from like why is the earth a bar magnet it is said that you know deep down inside the core the earth has a lot of metals it has molten iron it has molten nickel and so many other things this molten metal mass is what actually forms the magnet of the earth understood we'll not go into details about exactly how the earth's bar magnet is formed but for now you should understand that the metallic core of the earth is very much responsible for the earth behaving like a bar magnet these lines that you see here the lines that join the north pole to the south pole are called geographic meridians as you can see this is a geographic meridian this is one this is one this is one the town of greenwich in england actually has the 0 degrees geographic meridian magnetic meridian can similarly be plotted as lines that join the magnetic north pole to the magnetic south pole so as i just said this is the magnetic north pole slightly to the right of the geographical north pole and the lines which come out of the magnetic north pole and you know go into the magnetic south pole they are called magnetic meridians these are the magnetic meridians So as you can clearly see geographic meridians and magnetic meridians are lines drawn on the surface of the earth and joining the north pole to the south pole magnetic meridians join magnetic north to magnetic south and geographic meridians join geographical north to geographical south so that is the essence of the earth's magnetism